So Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is a form of facial paralysis that can occur from reactivation of a viral infection. Many people will have heard of chickenpox, and chickenpox can cause a reactivation of the virus in the form of shingles, which is a rash on one part of the body. Now, if that rash occurs around the facial nerve, it can cause a sudden onset of facial paralysis, often linked with some pain around the ear or behind the ear. The significant factor here is that usually the people who develop this have some other issue going on at the same time that causes their immune system to be depressed. So they'll either be under a lot of either physical stress or some other illness or sometimes even emotional stress that can cause people to feel run down. The symptoms that uh, Mr. Bieber has described are classic for facial paralysis. Uh, the first thing that people realize is that they, uh, their eye becomes dry, uncomfortable, can be gritty. Uh, the uh, an inability to keep food or, uh, fluid or food in the mouth is also something that patients often care, uh, care about a lot. Uh, just a simple thing like brushing your teeth and trying to spit out uh, the toothpaste can be very difficult if one side of the face is paralyzed. On the video that was shared, I can see that there are signs that there is some early recovery happening. Again, in those areas, it's really important that patients do not try to force the recovery by doing exercises because they can reinforce the wrong patterns of muscle activation, which can cause long-term problems. A so-called a condition called synkinesis, where the muscles become tight. We would anticipate overall that patients uh, with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome who, uh, who receive the appropriate treatment at the right time should achieve maybe a 70 to 75 percent rate of full recovery. Uh, now that is based on the fact of them receiving both steroids and antivirals in a timely manner. Patients who do not receive those have maybe a 50-50 chance of full recovery.